Jimmy Hart was with Beefcake and I. They ended up putting Johnny Valiant with us when we won the titles. I, I wanted Jimmy Hart because I loved Jimmy Hart. But Jimmy had other things. He had King Kong, Bundy, and I had already been with him four years, so Johnny Valiant gave Beefcake the cigar or whatever, and that's how we won the and blinded Barry Windham, and that's how we won the titles. I thought Johnny Valiant was a great guy. He was funny. His interviews, I don't know why they end up letting him go, but I know that, that Vince and Johnny Valiant had a history. They went to the same school in North Carolina, some college down there. So they had history. And actually, Johnny broke in. Johnny was from Pittsburgh. And he broke in out there with Bruno and then the Nebalians, you know, they had their run before I came up there. And then, so Johnny with, let's just Johnny Valiant with the Dream Team, it worked, it was good. He had kind of comical interviews, but I thought, they, you know, he had the cigar. I thought he was tremendous. I couldn't believe he got, I don't know why he got let go. Someone said they didn't like his interview. His interviews are fine, you know, a little comical, but so what? You know, we were, we were serious. And he had the cigar, baby, and he and he got his heat from. He was the guy that blinded Barry Windham in the eye, and he'd always thump that cigar. And I, so tragic ending to him because he lived in Pittsburgh, and he was it was like five o'clock in the morning. They said he was crossing the street to catch a bus or something and maybe to go to the airport or something and he got hit by a semi. So wham, that was terrible, terrible news. That wasn't too long, a few years wasn't ago, Wasn't too right? long ago, no. Two, three years ago, wasn't that long ago. That must have come out of left field then. Oh the my God, there. oh my God. and. I know he was stepping into comedy a little bit because he, he could do that. and But I remember uh, I was talking to somebody at why he never did Comic Cons because Comic Cons were, as before the pandemic, Comic Cons were a big deal, you know? You know, I see William Shatner at a Comic Con or uh, big, you know, big name people and wrestlers and boxers and Sylvester Stallone was at a Comic Con and Hulk Hogan, and and he never wanted to do him. He never wanted to do a Comic Con with us. And he, you know, he could have, he could have did, he would have done well because he was with us when, when the Dream Team had the belts. Yeah, what a yeah. hell of a photo op it would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely.